Hey, please stand for the posting of the colors and the singing of the national anthem. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet waves or the land of and the home of the brave. I think you all can be seated. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the 2017-2018 AP Yes Awards. Woo! Woo! <laughs> My name is Casey Gentry and I'm a senior at North Atlanta High School and on behalf of Atlanta Public Schools, I'm excited to present to you the Mistress of Ceremonies for this evening. She is no stranger to APS. Some of, some of us recently saw her in action at our back to school bash. Ms. Proctor has won several awards, including three Emmys, the Associated Press Best Newscast, and a National Association of Black Journalists Award. Please give a warm APS welcome to Angelique Proctor of WAGA Fox 5 Atlanta. Thank you, Casey. Good evening, everyone. You know, needless to say, I love APS. I was just counting, and I attended six APS schools before graduating from North Atlanta. Let's just say it was back in the 80s. So it's my privilege to serve as your Mistress of Ceremonies and welcome you to the 2017-2018 APS Awards, where our honorees are inspiring hope and the school district is recognizing excellence. So let's get this party started. Is everybody ready? 
please join me in welcoming the Kip Stride Primary Love Choir as they present to us in song a medley that includes 24 Carats, Centuries, End of Time, and Lift Every Voice and Sing.
facing the ride. Facing the rising sun. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Let us march on. 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 Incredible, weren't they? And you know what? I just love their energy, but I am sure they are just as enthusiastic about their academics. Can't you tell? They are on point. I think they're ready for a national stage. Absolutely. Let's ship them to Broadway. <laughs> now I'm pleased to introduce to you two fantastic students from Atlanta Public Schools. That's Kanan Brandt a sophomore at Grady High School, and Nicholas Del Port, a senior at North Atlanta High School. I invite them to the stage to introduce a lady who needs no introduction, the superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools, as well as the school board chair. Good evening. My name is Kenny Brandt, and I am a sophomore at Grady High School. I am pleased to be introducing our superintendent of the Atlanta Public School System. Dr. Carl Starfin is in her fourth year as superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools. She has nearly 20 years' experience in diverse metropolitan school districts. She is a passionate advocate for our school system and its transformation. I know she loves and supports the staff and students who make up this great district and we are honored to have her lead us today. Good evening, everyone. I am Nicholas Delport, and I have the honor of introducing the Board of Education Chair, Mr. Courtney English. Courtney English was elected to the board in 2009 at the age of only 24, making him the youngest person to be elected citywide in any capacity in the city of Atlanta. His leadership has witnessed many positive changes within Atlanta Public Schools. So please welcome to the stage, Dr. Maria Karstaffen and Mr. Courtney English. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting my snuggle. Well, thank you, gentlemen. We really uh, appreciate you coming out tonight and spending your time with us. Uh, I'm going to say uh, to the chair of the board that I'm very honored to be up here with him today. We're super excited about celebrating you tonight. So uh, when I say AP, you say yes. OK, this is how it's going to work. So we're in a model. AP. Yes. AP. Yes. AP. Yes. All right. When I say AP, you say yes. Sorry. Let's do it again. Let's act like it's normal. We it's did not. We, we were, practiced. We were saying, oh, here we go. Paying attention. Let's go. <laughs> when I say AP, you say yes. AP. Yes. AP. Yes. Now, here we go. Courtney. We got another one. We practiced. <laughs> when I say strong, you say team. Strong. Team. Strong. Team. Okay. Strong. All right, can we do the holding over? This is how it's supposed to go. When I say AP, you say yes. AP. Yes. AP. Yes. When I say strong, you say team. Strong. Team. Strong. Woo, there we go. I want to thank you for coming out this evening to help us honor our teachers, our leaders, our partners, and our wonderful children for, I mean, this is why we do it all, right? I mean, can I get a right? Can I get a yes? Can I get an AP yes? AP? Yes. 
All right, thank you. This event would not have been possible without the extraordinary leadership and the Office of Human Resources and the vision of Pam Hall. I'd also like to do a shout out to communications and public engagement. They also work all year long to make sure this process happens. Kelly Day, if you haven't met her, and Rita McLaughlin are chairing the Teacher of the Year selection process. And a very, very special thank you to Nazinga Bitten, our employee engagement coordinator for chairing the entire event. Uh, we will be honoring all of our attendees because of your talents and what you've done uh, for our kids. But I also want to thank our students, our students from the Grady High School Orchestra who are here th with us tonight, the Kip Strive Primary Love Choir that you just heard from, speakers from North Atlanta, Coretta Scott King, Young Women's Leadership Academy, the JRTC, and soloists, and our student ushers from Crim Open Campus and Benjamin E. Mays Drumline. Can you please give them a big round of applause for being out here tonight? We are so incredibly happy to be here, and I'm so fortunate uh, to have the opportunity to work with dedicated members of the Atlanta Public Schools School Board. Uh, there are people who set the mission, the vision, and the policy direction for the entire school district. We want APS to be a high-performing school district where our kids love to learn, our teachers inspire, our families engage, and the community has trust in the system. And my colleagues on the school board are working very, very hard behind the scenes to ensure that through a caring culture of trust and collaboration that every single one of our children will graduate ready for college and career. Uh, so my colleagues on the board, will you please stand uh, when I call your name? Uh, first, we have our vice chair here, Nancy Meister, who represents Educational District 4. Ms. Leslie Grant, who represents Educational District 1. Mr. Matt Westmoreland, Educational District 3. We have Cynthia Briscoe Brown, who represents At-Large Seat 8. Ms. Ishe Collins, who represents Educational District 6. And Mr. Jason Estevez, who is At-Large Seat 9. And there are a lot of other people behind the scenes with the school board uh, trying to make APS great along with you. You're on the front lines, but there are a lot of hamsters in the wheel in the back. I'd like to introduce the senior leadership team who are here tonight to recognize you as well. David Jernigan, the deputy superintendent. is Larry Hoskins, the chief operations officer. Lisa Bracken, the chief financial officer. Angela King-Smith, chief engagement officer. Bill Karich, over accountability and assessment. Pam Hall, who are introduced earlier Earlier, the genius behind this event for Chief Human Resources Officer and Glenn Brock, our General Counsel. It is my great privilege on behalf of the Atlanta Board of Education to celebrate each and every one of our great partners and our wonderful staff and extend our deepest and most heartfelt thanks to our teachers, especially those of you who have gone far beyond the general call of duty and are being honored here today. So, um, as I've said before, seeing our students succeed in school and life is, I think, the greatest gift you can receive as an educator. Many of us don't see what happens to the kids unless they come back and tell us about it. But when they do, it is a very special moment. As a former teacher and, of course, a leader in school systems all over the country, I know that, like you, when it happens, it feels like you've changed the world. And so tonight, we honor you, the teachers and educators and partners who who are leading the transformation for Atlanta public schools. It's long overdue. I know you've been through a lot, but we really respect and honor you for making this district great, um, making it possible for our kids to also have choice-filled lives. So tonight, tonight is, is one, one of our, our favorite, favorite events of, of the year. year. Inspire. Hope. Celebrate. Honor. The teachers. Leaders. Le and partners. Who are the stars leading, leading the, the way, way for, for our, our children. children. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Christarfin and Mr. English. And I always call him Courtney, but we're in an official capacity tonight, Mr. English. So at this time, we are ready to start handing out our AP Yes Awards. Is everybody ready? We're going to start with recognizing our many partners. Now, to help present these awards, let me ask Rachel, 
Sprecher, Executive Director of Partnerships and Development, and Amber Stewart, Partnership Manager, Dr. Kostarfin, and board members to please all come forward. Good evening. Thank you, Angelique. Our journey of transformation at Atlanta Public Schools is simply not possible without the support of partners. Tonight, it's my honor to recognize some very special ones. The leaders of all APS schools were given an opportunity to nominate an organization who they deem deserving of the honor of APS Partner of the Year. Tonight, we will recognize each cluster partner of the year an unsung hero and the district partner of the year. These partnerships were selected because of their alignment to school needs, sustainable and selfless support, and for their proven positive impact on the entire school community. So a representative from each organization will join me on stage to accept the award as I announce your names. So here we go. Our 2017 Cluster Award winners are, for the Clark Carver Cluster, Morehouse School of Medicine and Grady Hospital. It's coming later. Nominated by Carver High School. Let me get an AP. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And one photo, please. With the, with the yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny stage up here. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. Thank you for your support. We appreciate you. And for the Jackson Cluster, Baston Cook Construction, nominated by Crim High School. Let me get an AP. <laughs> uh, Baston Cook, I know, created an amazing space at Crim for um, our students to learn construction trades. It's simply amazing. Congratulations, thank you so much. All right, for the Douglas Cluster, Jackson Memorial Church, nominated by Harper Archer Middle School, AP. Thank you so much, Jackson Memorial Church. And I believe the principal of Harper Archer is here tonight to celebrate. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Thank you so much. For the Washington Cluster, it is Morehouse School of Medicine, nominated by Tuskegee Airmen Global Academy, AP. Yes! <laughs> Morehouse School of Medicine has been a partner of Tuskegee Airmen Global Academy since it opened last year. <laughs> Thank you. For the Farrell Cluster, it's the Atlanta Football Host Committee, nominated by Bunch Middle School, AP. Yes! The Atlanta Football Host Committee has been great partners with us all year um, leading up to the championship football game that will happen January 2018, so we are very grateful. And um, they also contributed $500,000, I'll say that one more time, $500,000 to our Orton Gillingham Literacy Initiative.
<laughs> Thank you, Carl. <laughs> I'm messed up. For the maze cluster, it's Robin's Readers, nominated by Beecher Hills Elementary School. AP. There are 12 Robin's readers. Congratulations. All right, next up, the Grady Cluster is Mental Fitness, nominated by Inman Middle School. AP? Yes! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Mental Fitness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's, he's a very happy former teacher. That's what Thank he's you. Former teacher. Thank you for your service. All right, North Atlanta Cluster, Peachtree Presbyterian Church, nominated by Garden Hills Elementary School. AP! Yes! All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peachtree Presbyterian Church, for all your support of Garden Hills Elementary School. We are grateful. Thank you. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. And last but not least, for our South Atlanta Cluster Partner of the Year, Morningside Presbyterian Church, nominated by Dobbs Elementary School. AP! Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Morningside Presbyterian Church, nominated by Dobbs Elementary School. <laughs> so let's give all of our 2017 Cluster of Partner winners a round of applause. AP! Yes! Next up, I'm really honored to present the 2017 Unsung Hero of the Year. This is a new award. It's a behind the scenes partner that maybe doesn't get a lot of fanfare, but who makes a huge difference. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our Unsung Hero of the Year, Sarah Thurston. Ms. Thurston rallied a group of community members to support King Middle School with their literacy initiatives. Ms. Thurston's group calls themselves the Friends of King. So we would really like to thank Ms. Thurston and Friends of King for their support and partnership with APS. AP? Yes! Thank you so much, Sarah. So she is our very first unsung hero of, of the year. Thank you. And for our final award, the District-Wide Partner of the Year. The 2017 District-Wide Partner of the Year has been an invaluable partner and friend to APS, investing $500,000 toward the district's transformative literacy training program and providing tremendous support to the Hollis Innovation Academy, including the renovation of the care center, teacher sanctuary and cafeteria and so much more and so many chicken biscuits I can't even count them. <laughs> this partner remains passionate and committed to serving the children of Atlanta and helping us ensure that all students graduate ready for college and career. I kind of gave it away but please welcome our 2017 district-wide partner of the year the Chick-fil-A Foundation. <laughs> And 
Rodney Bullard is accepting his congratulations, and then um, we're going to hear a few short remarks from, from Rodney on behalf of the Chick-fil-A Foundation. 2017 District-Wide Partner of the Year. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, my father's a uh, black Baptist preacher, so I'm going to try that oh, one more time. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. It truly is our pleasure to be here. I'm going to take this from, uh, thank, you. thank you, my friend. Uh, the Chick-fil-A Foundation is truly dedicated to ensuring that every child grows up to be everything that they were created to be. We typically invest in youth and education, and uh, truth be told, we invest in leadership because we believe that in leadership, you will find quality, you will find excellence, and this is an easy investment, quite frankly. Dr. Karstarfen, the movement that you have created in APS, the board, the leadership that you all have shown, the faculty, the awardees, the teachers, the staff of APS are excellent, and so we appreciate and we salute your leadership. This is not our award, quite frankly, this is your award, and so it is our pleasure to partner with you. Thank you for all that you do on behalf of our children. So we all know how important our partners and volunteers are and supporters, and we certainly appreciate that. Now it's time to recognize that very, very important person, our Teachers of the Year. Are you ready? If we could have all of our board members to just line up right here in front of the stage. We would also like for Dr. Kristarfen, David Jernigan, and the associate superintendents to come on down and help us with this very important part of the program. Good evening. I'm Yolanda Brown, the K-8 Associate Superintendent of Schools for the Carver, Washington, and Grady Clusters. And so tonight, I have the honor of introducing the wonderful and fabulous and fantastic Teachers of the Year, starting with the Carver Cluster. So come on down. Congratulations to Miss Mahogany Jackson from Silver Hills Middle School. Next, we have Ashanti Lawrence Allison from Gideon's Elementary School. Thank you. Please join us in the front of the stage. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to Brandy Sims from William M. Finch Elementary School. <laughs> yes. Woo. <laughs> yes. So now, congratulations to Dorian Swinton from Luther Judson Price Middle School. Okay. Next, Delansky Williams from Thomas J. Perkinson Elementary School. Congratulations again to the Carver Cluster Teachers of the Year. Next, we have the Booker T. Washington Cluster Teachers of the Year, starting with Creighton Bryan from Tuskegee Airmen Global Academy, followed by Natasha Clark Grant from Michael R. Hollis Innovation Academy. Next, we have Jaquise Combs from Joseph Emerson Brown Middle School. And lastly, Coletta Lane Ward from M. Agnes Jones Elementary School. Congratulations, Washington Cluster. Last but not least, the fabulous Grady Cluster Teachers of the Year, starting with Katherine Ball from John Hope Charles Walter Hill Elementary School. Then Ms. Sheila Baxter Holmes from Morningside Elementary School. 
Then we have Talandria Gaucher from Mary Lynn Elementary School. Followed by Ann Head from Inman Middle School. And last but not least, congratulations to Jennifer Lockwood from Springdale Park Elementary School. Congratulations, teachers. Well done. Good evening, everyone. I'm Emily Abrams Massey, the proud associate superintendent for Jackson and Douglas Clusters. I have the distinct pleasure of recognizing the dynamic teachers of the year for these two clusters, and we will start with the Jackson Cluster. First, we have Tanisha Calhoun, Martin Luther King Middle School. Ella Cleveland, Barack and Michelle Obama Academy. Tamiko Cobb, Paul Dunbar Elementary School. Tracy Dubose, Parkside Elementary School. Skyla Grady, Burgess Peterson Academy. Jaleesa Johnson, Fred A. Toomer Elementary School. Angela Wilder, Frederick Benteen Elementary School. And now for the Douglas Cluster, the dynamic Douglas Cluster. Brittany Brownlee, George Towns Elementary School. Casey Colefield, Woodson Park Academy. Princess Goss, William Boyd Elementary School. Gracie Hutcherson, Margaret A. Fain Elementary School. Byron Purnell, William Scott Elementary School. Paula Reese, Harper Archer Middle School. Bonita M. Simmons, Usher Collier Elementary School. <laughs> Jessica Tucker, Stanton Elementary School, F.L. Stanton Elementary School. Please join me in giving a big round of applause to the Jackson Douglas Cluster Teachers of the Year. Thank you. Hey, hey. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tommy Usher, and I am the proudest of all of the associate superintendents because I get to support the Therrell and North Atlanta clusters. So beginning with our Therrell cluster, I'm so excited to recognize Mr. Yofi Dowell from Kimberly Elementary School as the Teacher of the Year. N Next, we have Kelly Nixon, Richard N. Fickett Elementary School. Charlotte Scott, Deerwood Academy. Sandra Scott, Ralph J. Bunch Middle School. Kwamisha Shoemake, Continental Colony Elementary School. Katie Carlson, Garden Hills Elementary School. Thank you. 
Joshua Fleming Sarah Smith Elementary School. Joe Freeman, Mars Brandon Elementary School. Elizabeth Jacobs, E. Rivers Elementary School. Tara Scherer, Bolton Academy Elementary School. And last, but certainly not least, Kim Zemily from Wilson A. Sutton Middle School. Congratulations. All right, next up we have the Maze and South Atlanta cluster. So I'm Dr. Danielle Battle. <laughs> Standing in for Dr. Danielle Battle tonight. Pleased to represent, I'm sorry she couldn't be with us, but I'm happy to introduce from the Mighty Maze Cluster, first up, West Manor Elementary School, Miss Felicia Belcher. From LP Miles Elementary School, Andrew Brown. From Cascade Elementary School, Calandria Fears. From Peyton Forest Elementary School, Erica Flulin. Jean Child Young Middle School, Sunitha Mitchell. <laughs> Beecher Hills Elementary School, Marcy Simmons. <laughs> and from the sizzling South Atlanta cluster, first up Heritage Academy, we have April Askew. <laughs> from Joseph Humphreys Elementary School, Jermaine Hundley. Cleveland Avenue Elementary School, Ebony Kennedy. And we have Ms. Joanna Lowe Sellers from John Websley Dobbs Elementary School. Mr. Jason Moore from Emma Hutchinson Elementary School. And from the Crawford Wilson Williamson Long Middle School, Nathan Stone. Next up are our charter and partner schools. Standing in for Ms. Gail Burnett tonight. I don't think that they are standing yet, however, so we're going to... I'm gonna to go to the high schools next. Paper's just out of order, no worries. From the high schools! <laughs> and you're not standing in the order of my paper, but I'm just gonna wing it here. From Alonzo Krim High School, Larry Alford. <laughs> Chef Alford. <laughs> From Best Academy, Ricky Davis. From Carver High School, Reginald Gibson. From Booker T. Washington High School, Michael Howard. From Coretta Scott King, Young Women's Leadership Academy, Ashley Lee. And from Best Academy High School, Quandra Lockett Adams. From Benjamin Mays High School, LaShondra Parker. From North Atlanta High School, Akisha Ray. From South Atlanta High School, Coach Michael Reddick. From Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy High School, Cameron Story. From DM Farrell High School, Vincent Tolbert. From the Frederick Douglass High School, Monique Watson. And from Maynard Holbrook Jackson High School, Ms. Shamika White. And now to the appropriate sheet for charters and partner schools on behalf of Ms. Gail Burnett. 
First up, Mr. Michael Champion from Kip Atlanta Collegiate High School. I hired him. From Kip Strive Academy, Miss Sharonda Merritt Wilson. And from Thomasville Heights Elementary School, Shari Rosales. Rosales. Give it up for all of our teachers of the year. We want to take some time to thank all of our generous sponsors and supporter for making tonight's event a reality. We want to thank Families First Credit Union. If you'll please stand. Where are you? I saw you earlier. Thank you, wherever you are, for your support for the APS Awards, as well as Coca-Cola, if you'll stand for your continued partnership. Year after year, they provide these plaques for us. Thank you so much for your generosity. They uh, sponsored all the plaques, as well as the Credit Union of Atlanta. I know you all are here. Thank you so much for your contributions to the Teacher of the Year winner. Also responsible for those gift bags for our honorees. We have almost two dozen other corporate sponsors who have partnered with APS to celebrate more than 6,000 amazing employees. So let's give it up to all of our corporate partners who have helped us with this. And now I have the awesome privilege of telling what our honorees will receive tonight. So I'm going to list a whole bunch of things, but before you get too excited, you're not going to get all of these things I'm about to name. They're kind of spread among you based upon the awards you're getting. However, we do have gifts tonight, including gift cards from Walmart and Target. Yeah, it gets better. Gift cards and tablets from Best Buy. Ooh. Publix gift cards for all of the leads and Teacher of the Year finalists. A trip to Lake Lanier's Magical Nights. Hotel stays from some of Atlanta's finest hotels that include the Ritz-Carlton, Lowe's, Hilton, La Meridian, and Aloft. We have a trip to the Georgia Aquarium. We have some Hawks tickets. We have a visit to the Woodruff Arts Center. We have a 60-minute facial from Massage Envy. A special gift from all of the finalists and leads donated by Franklin Covey. We have an APS watch. We have a check from the Credit Union of Atlanta for tonight's Teacher of the Year winner. And last but certainly not least, and I want this one, a driving experience with Porsche. Again, thanks goes out to all the local businesses who donated the gifts for tonight's event. At this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Karstarfin to join me as we present to you our 2017-2018 Leeds Awards recipients. Give it up for Dr. Karstarfin again. Why, thank you, David Jernigan, who was also Dr. Which, Dr. Dr. Bell and, and, and Dr. Sims. You're a very multi-talented leader. Uh, LEAD stands for Leading Education, ed, oh, excuse me, Leading, Educating, Advising, Driving, and Supporting Students. These awards recognize individuals who've really shown how in leadership we can actually work toward becoming a high-performing district and honor our mission to graduate every child ready for college and career. These awards honor our Principal of the Year, our Assistant Principal of the Year, our school's first recipient, a person who provides unrivaled support for our schools, and our student's first recipient, the person who truly put the well-being and the future of our students before anything else. I think somebody else is supposed to. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. That's cool. That's all right. The first presentation goes to, can I get a round of applause with your feet, please? Rhonda Dunn, the budget analyst. 
Miss Dunn started her APS journey in 2011, where she was a parent liaison, later becoming a full-time secretary at DH Stanton. Ms. Dunn has been recognized by her colleagues for, because of her commitment to creating a positive work environment and cultivates and encourages success of all the people around her. She's been working as a budget analyst in the finance department, believes that the work that she and her team does actually, as she quotes, transcends beyond this building's walls and influences growth and efficiency and other areas of APS. She's committed to be her best self. She's got, as you can tell, a lovely smile, a great disposition, but most importantly, she wants to contribute to APS so that students can be the ultimate beneficiary of our work. So we love you and congratulations. Go this away. And as you go down, board, can you go this way and walk down? The board does that love thing. The shaking the hands, the hugging, all that stuff. Our next award goes to, can I get a big drum roll with your feet, please? A bus driver, Mr. Charles Brown. Mr. Brown has been 30 years faithful to APS as a bus driver. <laughs> I gotta say more good stuff about you. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done yet. Go over here, get, get, go over here so everybody can get your beautiful face. He was a student in APS from first grade to 12th grade, and his parents were career administrators in APS as well. So we've got you all probably messed up, right? Just a lot of APS crazy inside. But we love you for it because he's done other things. He's a special needs bus driver. He helps kids who are hearing impaired in the community through the Atlanta Area School of the Deaf. Mr. Brown is also an inspiration. He's dedicated to his students. He is like like what perfect attendance punctuality and a safe driving record all completely perfect he and his wife have fostered 20 children 20 two zero children adopted nine almost all of them attending Atlanta public school schools when I asked him about his job and why he does what he does he just says, I love APS, I love my jobs, and I love my kids. And we love you! APS! Well, I hope the assistant principal of the year is cool. <laughs> I'd like to represent the assistant principal of the year. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Mr. Ernest Sessoms, Jr., of Boyd Elementary School. Mr. Sessoms began his career in APS in 1999 as a third grade teacher at Boyd. High five, high five. Come on around here. Come around here. Come on around. Come around. He, he, is, he also sponsored the Boys Bobcats of Distinction Mentor Club, organized kids voting, which we had that in a recent election. Uh, Mr. Sessons led, later transitioned to middle school upon his return to elementary. He was promoted as an instructional coach. He's also part of the leadership team at Usher Collier. Mr. Sim, Sessoms experienced gains on CCRPI. Georgia Milestones is a rock star in academics. Things came full circle when he was later promoted to be the assistant principal at his first APS school, Boyd Elementary. <laughs> Woo! All right, the next award goes to the principal of the year. <laughs> Drum roll, please, with your feet. Here we go. Dr. Dion Simon Taylor of George A. Towns Elementary School. Dr. Taylor began her journey in APS in 1999 as well as a little baby teacher over at Benjamin E. Mays High School. She was also promoted to assistant principal at Benjamin E. Mays in 2006, where she remained. Give me a. 
Oh, she remained for five years, five years. In 2011, she was the principal of Coretta Scott King. And then I, oh, and by the way, she was instrumental in making sure people got to go to visit at the White House. It's a long story, but I won't believe it now. But then I got the honor of promoting and selecting her to become the principal of Towns Elementary School, where she has just rocked that job. Highest growth across all content areas in the district on Georgia Milestones. And she's been named the turnaround principal representative for communities and schools. We love you, Dion. Give her a big round of applause and an A. P. We love you. You're great. Woo! All right. It's not my turn. You're enjoying it so much you're down there. Proctor, stop laughing. It's your turn. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> this is what happens when you're really engaged in the, uh, in the event. All right. I welcome to the stage our MC for the evening. Well, you know what I was going to say? When I was at APS, I don't remember it rocking like it rocks now, okay? A little stiffer back then. What an awesome group of APS leaders. Now are you ready to meet the finalists for the Atlanta Public Schools Teacher of the Year? Now in preparation for this announcement, Dr. Kostarfin visited three schools to surprise our finalists. One from an elementary school, another from a middle school, and the last from a high school. Now we captured all of that fun on video and here it is now for you. I love Miss Lockwood very much and she's the best teacher ever. Miss Lockwood is our teacher of the year, but she's been our teacher of the year probably every year that she's been here. She's a great teacher. She helps us get around things if we need it. And then she'll let us do fun activities after she, we are done with our work. Miss Lockwood definitely deserved to be teacher of the year because she has a really nice way of explaining things and she gives great advice. I thought that it was really amazing because she's never been Teacher of the Year. Um, so I thought it was really cool that she was Teacher of the Year. And I've, I've never had a teacher that was Teacher of the Year. So I also thought it was a really cool experience. In my total time in education, it is very easy to see which teachers are the ones that truly have a commitment to students to their subjects that they teach, and to the school and the community. She goes above and beyond in everything that she does. What I like most about Miss Lockwood is that she always lets us do things that we suggest. She won't just do it without us helping her decide. She always, um, on the board, she always has like a list to do, and then at the end she has like choices, and then you can choose whatever one you want. Miss Lockwood makes learning fun because she shows us how we use it in real life. One time in social studies, we acted out the acts that led up to the American Revolution, and I love acting out things. So that was really, really fun for me. In one word, how would I describe Miss Lockwood? I don't know that that's possible. I would have to use multiple adjectives for Miss Lockwood. Passionate, sincere, caring, kind, respectful. She's here. She's a champion for children, and she's a champion for Springdale. she makes it just to where you love her. I love having 
Miss Jackson has for teaching because she gives us fun activities and fun stuff to do that makes class more interesting. I often have told her that um, um, she, she disguises her learning with the kids uh, and is saying that she's able to make learning uh, very fun and realistic. She brings social studies to life, and, but through making it fun and realistic, she's able to get the students to think that they're having fun, but they're learning as well. So through that passion, that energy, that, that charisma that she has, she's able to connect with each and every one of our children. Well, to me, like she makes learning fun for students. She like helps us, she makes sure we understand. She'll, even if we don't understand, she'll make it fun to where we do understand and we want to come to her class and love coming to her class. Ms. Jackson, she, she's special because she's, she works differently than other teachers work. She helps students more than just giving them the work out of the book. And she has a story. Um, and our students know a story. It wasn't, you know, but a few years ago that Miss Jackson was sitting in a seat in Atlanta Public Schools. And, um, and so through that story and through her passion and delivery of that, the students are able to understand, you know, that through hard work and focus, you know, that they can be one of Atlanta Public Schools or be a top talent in any and everything that they do. She's just a unique person. Like, she just, she cares about her students a lot. So that's like sort of nice. I like that. Ms. Jackson helps students work together better by putting us in groups. So if we don't know a question, we can ask them before we ask her so she can help other students. Every child has an opportunity to, to learn at, at various levels and paces in her classroom and she convinces them, you know, that in that. Um, they know that they have the opportunity to do their best. They know that failure is not an option. And even if they make mistakes, those mistakes are not highlighted. You know, she focuses on the strength of each and every child and that this gives students hope in life. It really showed me like, you have a way in this world. You just have to find it. Deserves more because Chef does so much for his students and for the whole school as a whole. And it's just like he finally gets his recognition. I'm really proud of that. He tells me like things that I should do, he holds me at a higher standard. He also helps kids get qualified for jobs, like in the culinary field. Everything that he does is for the sake of our children. Um, this gentleman is here giving our children hands-on, real-life exposure and experiences that they would never have had the opportunity to partake in. Our students with their catering and their business entrepreneurial skills, if you, if you, if you may say, have grown to appreciate the time and the commitment that he invests in them, which is during the school day, after school, on weekends. They know that he's there for them. When I first came to Crown, I wanted to drop out. I wanted to say, yeah, drop out. I know I'm not going to be able to get no good job, so I'll go to jail, spend the rest of my life there. It'll be okay. But then, Chef came to my life. He, someone that actually cared for me, someone that was in my corner. And I was like, maybe I can do something. Now, I'm here at school, going to school regularly, doing well in my classes, and I'm really thankful because Chef is one of the biggest reasons I do that. I'm the FCCLA vice president, all that, and come, coming from the beginning of this year, I wanted to drop out and go to jail. So now I want to stay in school, on my own catering business, and it's, I really want to thank Chef for that. And he's a really big part of that. I don't know any teacher that's willing to give up weekends, Saturdays, uh, breaks, or anything to come and like be with with his students for stuff that we have to do. Like anytime we need him for anything, he's always there. I know I can call him for anything. You know, as a principal, you can only dream of an individual within your school stepping up and breathing life into the mission and vision of your building. And when we set that stage and we reiterated that next year, Chef Kick just came in with a bang. He had, he had his mind made up that he was going to do something great for these kids, and he's been doing it um, incessantly. Krim is now back on the map because of the work that he's doing, which is absolutely phenomenal, and I can't thank him enough for that.
it's that moment for you to meet these amazing educators in person. Would you please come down when I call your name and walk across our school board to get your love and snuggles. Finish by coming up on stage and standing underneath this star for a gazillion pictures by your friends and family. Please welcome to the stage Jennifer Lockwood of Springdale Park. AP, yes! Can, can we get that cool music to play while she's, you know, it's like the Academy Awards. It needs to be playing while she's walking. Or we could just keep doing APS. There she is. Please welcome Mahogany Jackson of Sylvan Hills Middle School. for high school, Chef Larry Alford of Crim Open Campus. Oh, AP? Yes. And one more for Mr. Alford. AP? Okay, so this is the moment we've been waiting for. Just for the, just, just so you know, I have no idea who it is because I would have spilled the bean ages, beans ages ago. But um, I would like the former district teacher of the year, who is here with us. Oh gosh, that's right. Okay, Gerald, get up here. Of Kip Atlanta Collegiate, a genius, math genius. Okay, I'm gonna make the official announcement but you're gonna help me because I'm shaking and sweating. I don't want to ruin the envelope. Okay. Are we I guess ready? here we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Careful, because we're gonna give them the envelope. Can you do that side? I can do this side. Oh God! Oh, someone. I, I oh, you do just, this side. dude. Oh. Uh, I'm good at math. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. I can't see it. I know. I can't either. And the award goes to <laughs> Mahogany Jackson of Seven Hills Middle School. <laughs> going to get one great picture with the whole board and everybody together flanking her. Would, would um, Sylvan uh, Middle School like to come up and also be part of the picture? Family, friends, I dare any guy to go out with her. Like, anybody? It's got to be there. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in. Everybody in. Yeah. Right. All right, this way people are going to work. This way people isn't going to do it. No. Nope. 
This many people isn't gonna. I mean, go down. Just go down. Just try. Get as much as you can. Everybody's got. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm going, wait, I get out of the way. You're okay. next, right? Yes. You've done, you've done. I have done everything. Done everything. Thank you. And go. You go. Good evening. Uh, I am now the former teacher of the year, Jerry Kossoff. Um, it's been amazing to be here, and, and while Ms. Jackson gathers herself for a few moments, um, I'd love to share a few words and just thank a, a number of people for my experiences the past year. Uh, and I'll start on Wednesday, October 12th, 2016, which is when my school tricked me, uh, because my assistant principal came to my classroom, invited me into the hallway, and in what felt like a totally normal request, told me that the district was doing a survey, and as part of the survey, I needed to give an inspirational speech to my students explaining why they needed to challenge themselves in high school and life, and that they were going to capture their thoughts afterwards to rate me as an inspiration, which I felt flattered and honored. And about 30 seconds into my incredible, inspiring, loving speech, uh, about six people burst through the door with balloons and streamers and making noise, and I reacted as any professional would. Uh, I hid in the corner. <laughs> there is photographic evidence of this. I actually, yeah, kind of ran away. But then as soon as I saw the, the selfie stick, I realized what was happening, and <laughs> my heart rate calmed down a little bit, uh, and I realized that this is a really big deal. Um, and so as I stand ready to pass a torch to another amazing, incredible educator who I've had an opportunity to meet and can't wait to spend more time with. Um, Ms. Jackson, this is a really big deal. Um, yes, yes. And I'm immensely grateful for the experiences that I've had in the past year. Um, I've been able to represent our district in a number of ways. Um, I've been serving on state advisory committees. I was able to compete in the state teacher of the year competition. Um, I just learned that I'm still in the new employee orientation video that's shown every month. So people get to meet me, which is very exciting. Um, and this year has solidified my own desire to continuously improve my own craft, continue to serve students who live, uh, live in our area, uh, and remain in the classroom as a teacher for years to come. Uh, and so while some in this room, everyone in here is incredible, and some are in the classroom, some are out of the classroom, some may leave the classroom, I really hope that everyone considers staying um, as connected to students as you possibly can in whatever role that you serve, um, because we here tonight are honoring the most invaluable part of any educational operation, which is the teachers and leaders and people behind the scenes and uh, Mr. Brown of the bus driver, I believe it was, just incredible people. Um, there are so many amazing things happening for our students and people who are leading them to become the best versions of themselves. So I know our work is only getting started. So thank you, thank you again for the opportunity I've had the last year. Congratulations to Ms. Jackson. Um, and I look forward to all the events to come for you in the future year. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to hear from our Teacher of the Year for 2017. Ready? 
Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm going to try to do this uh, without crying. For those of you that know me, I am a crier. Um, the first thing I want to do is thank the person that inspired me to become a teacher. Um, my teacher from Price Middle School has been taking care of me since I was 12 years old. If I can please have Ms. Mitchell to please stand up. Um, the next person I would like to thank is my principal. Um, when I came to Atlanta Public Schools, um, I was only in my third year of teaching. I was kind of like a firecracker in the classroom. When you first get out of school, you're so excited and you're pumped up. And he embraced that. He built my capacity. He pushed me even when I did not want to do things outside of my classroom. So I thank him um, for all of the professional development and opportunities. Um, I also would like to thank my Sylvan Hills Middle School staff. Um, they have been there for me through thick and thin. So thank you guys. Um, for that. My family, I would like to thank my significant other um, for the late nights at Sylvan, the early mornings at Sylvan, the days I couldn't get to the daycare by 5.30. So Corey, I appreciate you um, and your support. And just for Atlanta Public Schools, thank you so much for the opportunity for me to prosper. I feel like I am in a district where I can grow, where I can cultivate others, and also affect change. So I am so excited to represent the district, and I can only hope that I make you guys as proud as I am of myself. So I appreciate you, and thank you so much. Thank you. And I did it without crying. <laughs> While she's making her way up to the stage, <laughs> I'm just going to take the time to thank her, our gorgeous mistress of ceremonies, Angelique Proctor, come on up here, and Fox 5. They've been such good friends to the district, and we just did a tiny little plaque of appreciation for being here at our Teacher of the Year event, and of course, our leader and partners, APS Awards. So thank you so much. We love you, and we think you do a great job for Atlanta. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I tell you what, tonight has really been a very inspirational time with all of you, and you've renewed my love for APS, which is deeply rooted. You know, both of my parents were APS graduates as well as my sister, so we are a complete family of APS graduates. Again, I want to congratulate uh, Mahogany Jackson, and I believe she said she was an APS graduate, and so sounds like she has an incredible story. Uh, I am so... Uh, happy for her tonight, winning the district-wide Teacher of the Year. And really to all of our honorees tonight, because you make it happen for each and every student in each and every school. And boy, do I look forward, when they will let me, to tell the good news of what's happening here at the Atlanta Public School System. <laughs> And you chuckle because they don't let me do it often, but I keep pitching those stories. I really do, I really do. And so what APS does, its mission is to graduate students ready for college and career and choice-filled lives. We wanna thank everyone for coming this evening and have a very safe night. <laughs>